Hello, everybody. Welcome back on Verse Podcast. Me and Grant here, and we are going to be reviewing brand new album, Came Out of Nowhere, from Kill Bill and Rav, The Boys, over on the new rebrand, Society is what they're called now. The album they're... is New Moon. Yep. it's It was a surprise. I'm very... I. It just came out of nowhere. Like I got an email saying, "Oh, Exo City came out with a new um, album," and it's a Kill Bill and Rav. I'm like, "Oh shit!" The last uh, last time they released something was back in 2017 with Drop Season for something big. Other than that, it's been like B sides and rarities by Rav. Yeah, so this is the first album of 2019 I picked up. Same, actually. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, so it's got 11 tracks. Uh, a lot of producers each track, right? You got Classic Japan, you got Matro. You got uh, Square. Uh, no, no, uh, for uh, uh, the producers. Oh, producers, my bad. Yeah, and then you have MND, MN Design, City Girl, Lando, uh, Menta, and Desired, as well as Iota and Kudasai for the producers on all the tracks. I was really surprised they actually got City Girl on there because I actually have um, one of her albums and it's a really chill lo-fi album. It's uh, Neon Impasse by City Girl. And mm. that's one of the song on that album, um, Ji Yoon Sunset. That's um, the sample that they used for Love Drug, I believe. Yeah, I think it's Love Drug, yeah. This album is a really chill album. I really enjoy it, especially Love Drug. That is like one of, that's my favorite song off of the album. It's something that I can just relax and I can listen to it and relax. Mm-hmm. Like, it's a really aesthetic album. I love it. Yeah, like I was trying to think of, man, what's going to be my favorite song for this album? And I'm having a really hard time trying to figure that out. Um, Because is it Passion Fruit is a good one. Yeah, mm-hmm. Love Drug. Love Drug is really good. Um, oh yeah of course put it down i really like that one a lot because like oh hey oh, with whoa. Megaran? yeah megaran got featured on here that's that's a nice little touch on there mm-hmm. i was surprised that um megaran was on there i'm like oh wow it, they finally collabed how long has it been it's Since been the- uh six years now i think because i think blur bomber came out in 2013 and kill bill had a feature on there wow it's been that long then, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, crazy. Uh, the, also, the other crazy thing about this album is everybody from X Society is on here, right? Like, of course, the main people is Kill Bill and Rav, but you got Rekadam, uh-huh. Square, Aerospace, and Ashido Brown all featured on here. Wow. Everyone. The whole, the whole shebang bang. Everybody made it. Uh, the closest, uh, the closest time they were to that was, I think Beneath the Toxic Jungle was the last time everybody was on there. What was that? That was 2015. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's, that's a long, that, wait, 2015, that, that's four years already. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, good Lord. Time passes by. So, yeah, I mean, this is, like you said, it's really refreshing album. Mm Mm-hmm. Um... They were it's they were tweeting good... out like, "Hey, yeah, we have a we have a an announcement on Sunday," and I was like, "Oh, I wonder what mm-hmm. it is." I wasn't thinking it was just going to be a boom album day one. I was like, "Wow." Them saying that you could have just been like, "Oh, it's probably um, like a, a SoundCloud release or something new single," but nope, it's album. I'm like, "Whoa!" Ho. And they have uh, they're making physicals too, and there's a couple left. Um, Bill has said. Yeah, I saw. I think it was this morning. They said fifty left. Uh, but yeah, sh- yeah. So physical CD, it's ten dollars mm-hmm. on Bandcamp, and then you got to pay the shipping. I think it was like three dollars or something. Yeah, I believe my total. Um, I think it was like thirteen dollars. Yeah. So, so not bad. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just going to be the same type of cases that the other albums are. Uh, mm-hmm. I kind of like. I like those kind of cases, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. Um. Really like the case for um, Ramona because it's nice and sleek and mm-hmm. smooth and you have like the inside art also. Did you grab resin when they re-released it? I did, yes. yes. I got mm-hmm. it on Halloween actually. Oh nice. So that was perfect timing. So yeah, like I own resin, I own Ramona, I own Beneath the Toxic Jungle which mm-hmm. Rav 
is not even going to make anymore <laughs> for physicals. Uh, they might. Um, the ones he had at the show were the last ones uh, from the oh, first run. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good thing I caught that then. And then Miguel has the first edition of Ramona without the parental advisory sticker. Mm -hmm. And he also has the the first run of resin when it was just a slipcase. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. That's that's OG right there. Mm -hmm. yeah, I remember I was going to grab resin too, and I was like, oh, I don't have enough money. And then, and then when I got paid, I looked, I was like, oh, it's gone already. Damn. Damn. Yeah. So I was going to say too, one of my other favorite songs is Put It Down by Megaran. Mm -hmm. Um, because I also like all the um, the references they they put in it. Like my favorite one was uh, the Red Dead Redemption one. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And I I've noticed this, but does Mega Rand say Mega? No, he or says does Mega. He say Mega. Okay. Yeah. I no, so I literally just saw that on the EXO Discord. Somebody said it sounded like you said Mega, and I was like, Nah, he says Mega. No, Mega. Okay, that confused me. And I think one of their SoundCloud songs, Dirge. I remember you made a edit from that with the um, the was it the the uh, it was seven six string, string samurai. six string samurai yeah yeah six string yeah and I'm like oh that made it on the album okay that's yeah cool. so only, there's two songs on here that have that were released previously it was dirge and the other one mm -hmm. was sleep talking um I remember Bill posted that on SoundCloud like sometime last year oh yeah yeah, yeah. sleep yeah. talking and then but still that's like bre nine brand new songs out of nowhere mm -hmm. it's it's 38 minutes but it in my opinion that's perfect and there's mm -hmm. not too there's not too many songs there's not too little songs they it's the right amount i like it perfect time on the album too and i've been listening to it like non-stop like, oh yeah yeah. I like the title for track three though. When I'm successful, I'm gonna buy a Neo Geo. Yeah, that's classic, classic EXO yep. right there. What other what works? Pretty much the whole album's great. Um Passion Fruit with Square is a really chill one. Mm hmm Let's see. Um, uh the interesting things about uh what is it? The first track is now now you don't, right? It's Rav with Regadam. Mm-hmm. Uh, the interesting part is Rekadam is going a cappella, right? Uh, in more of a poem uh, type of style. And then I believe mm -hmm. it's the last track, Little Empathy with Ashido Brown. He does the same thing. He goes a cappella. So I find that interesting. Oh, that they're yeah. they're not on the beat. I wonder what that's about. One thing I've noticed, too, at the end of each Kill Bill like the last song, like the last 10 seconds of each Kill Bill album, you, there's a sound effect that they put in that mm -hmm. he got from the lead from Ocarina of Time. It's, uh, the hearts filling up. It's the doot, 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 doot. Yeah, that was, yeah, that, that's on Ramona and Resin, right? Yep. Ramona, yeah. Resin, and I want to say, um, Drop Season. Drop Season. Cause it's on Little Empathy at the end, and he always puts it at the end of each album. Mm hmm. Um, because the last song is. I'll just check it real quick. You know, a little empathy? Oh, is it not? Uh, no, no, I'm checking on Drop Season. Oh, okay. It might not be on Drop Season, but I know it was on um, Ramona, that's for sure. Yeah, no, it's not on Drop Season. It is on Drop Season? No. Oh, it's not, damn. Okay. Mm. Um, and of course, it's not an EXO album without those flawless transitions on the tracks um i don't think it's on every one but at the end of one song it goes straight into the next one uh pretty smoothly so that's always nice to hear oh yeah that's good um yeah they always do really smooth transitions when it comes from one song to the next but like what was your thoughts when you first listened to the album like your first time Man, okay, so actually my first reactions to this, right? Mm -hmm. I think I think it's when I texted you they're streaming it on YouTube, right? I woke up and I just saw the Discord just going off, like everybody's reaction to the album. And I'm oh, like, this yeah. beats fire. Oh my god, what what's with this sample? Mm -hmm. And I was like, Oh man, what 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 where are they where are they playing this? And I looked at this YouTube like, oh man, and then I saw it said, Yo, Mega Rand's on here. I was like, God damn it, I I need to listen to this right now. <laughs> 
and then my goddamn phone kept crashing on YouTube, and I'm like, God damn, I'm just going to go to sleep. I'll just listen to it later. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> uh, but when I first hit play, uh, I was like, okay, yeah, this this feels nice. You know, it's that classic chill uh-huh. SoundCloud lo-fi. And then yeah. it wasn't until Passion Fruit played where I was like, oh, man, this this is the album right here. You know, mm-hmm. it was giving me some drop season vibes. Oh, yeah. I get you know, you. just like how the how the beats going, like them going off on their verses mm-hmm. and um, all the songs after that, and especially like Love Drug, like the, the instrumentals just ooh, so good. I have that if you want me to give it to you um, by City Girl, because when I was listening to the album, like exactly what you're thinking, um, like, oh, yeah, it's got some Ramona vibes to it, maybe with some Beneath the Toxic Jungle vibes mm-hmm. too yeah. then i heard love drug and i'm like oh my god they use city girl as a sample hell yes like this just made my day this is a great album and i'm like they pulled it off so well um like their bars that they put on the verses like it just syncs up with um city girl so well um uh, i was like oh they did a great job editing this album hey grant do you know if the hook is a reference to another song What's the hook? Because um, Bill goes, I got that boom shaka, boom shaka. I don't know, actually. Um, I don't, I don't think it is. Because he says, he says, love songs make money. Mm-hmm. Hold on, we'd have, I'd have to listen to his discography again. I got that boom shaka, boom shaka, boom baby, boom. I don't think it's, I don't think it's an EXO song. That he's referencing, mm-hmm. I think it's another another song, like a famous song. Hmm. I just can't put my finger on it because, like that, boom, shaka, boom, shaka, boom, baby, boom. Like it sounds so familiar. Um, I, I I'm pretty sure it's he's doing a different tempo, but I just I I just don't. Re- it's just in the back of my head. I'm like, yo, that's from a song. That's from something. Let's see. The only thing I'm looking up right now is um. Oh, there's the boom, boom- shaka laka. No, it's Boom Shaka. It's a musical group from um, South uh, Africa, but I don't, I don't think that's it that that he's referencing. <laughs> we'll have to ask him himself <laughs> yeah. if anything. Man, honestly, I was, I was for when the when they said we had an announcement, I was either hoping for either CDs or a uh, or or like, oh, we're gonna do a tour or something. Mm-hmm. Oh man, that'd be cool for a tour. Just to see him again in LA and buy him Modelo's. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm waiting. I'm still waiting for physicals for um, Hyperkinesis EP, which is never going to happen. I think that's the song. Um, yeah, I, I would like that one to be next, um, or an or an old Aerospace album. Either one. Probably something like All Dreams End, or um, I, I can't say him in Japanese. The Volume One, his Volume Two, and, and Volume oh, Three. Oh, his um, yeah, they're the uh, I forget what what the, what the anime's from. Uh, uh, Bakemonogatari. Yeah, his those albums. Um, honestly, yeah. I would want Hanakawa because that's Hanakawa or Nocturne are really good albums from Aerospace. Ooh, Hanakawa would be great mm-hmm. physical. I'm. Also surprised that the CDs are shipping out too this Friday, like you said. Yeah, that's so that that means that he that this album was working being worked under the wraps, and he already ordered the CDs. They kept it really well hidden too; like they didn't say much about it. Mm-hmm. And they just it's it's actually the number one selling album on Bandcamp right now. Yeah, that's that's such a good achievement for these guys. Yeah, and second place behind them is Macross eighty two ninety nine. <laughs> oh, which one? It's uh Summer Touch, and that came out back in um back last year actually in September or October. Let me see. Oh yeah, um, I see it right here. Oh wait. It's uh it's a reissue. They're re releasing it again. Oh. Huh, okay. Oh, it's under Neon City Records. All right, yeah, because that's their record oh, that's is, company. Yeah. yeah, that's what Macross and Young Bay, Moe Shop, and Night Tempo use. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, it's basically their EXO. Oh man, dude, I'm definitely gonna. I'm not gonna get tired of this album. To be oh, honest. Oh no, especially when I got to track six, uh, Saffron. Oh, Saffron. Yeah, and I was listening to it. I'm like, I was like, oh, you got like that elevator music going on, and like, yeah, I'm just chilling. And then you got the Dragon Ball Z sound effects hit. And I was like, oh, man, this is one of those songs. Oh, Saffron, yeah. Yeah. What, what's another good one? I think S- Sleep Talking was a good one, too. The one with the alarm at the end. Oh, God, it's so loud. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear kill. You just hear Bill go, ah, shit. <laughs> um, so I don't know if you remember at the show mm-hmm. back in August, um, but the last track Bill did was a new song, and it was Cult. Oh, Oh, it was Cult mm-hmm. that he played? Yeah, but I think here it's a different instrumental that he chose at the end. Oh, okay, huh. Yeah. That, was that when he turned the lights off? Oh, that was like that was at the very end where um, it was right after Dream Eater. And uh, it was the very last song that they played. Oh, okay, yeah. wow. Oh, man, good times. That was, that was in August, good lord. Mm-hmm. I know, it feels so long ago already. Man, I I just I want them to come over again. Just be like, Please. hey, you have places to stay if you come. <laughs> uh, um. Also, I wanted to point it out on Dirge. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Like like we said, it it was already released before. Uh, but when you get to Rav's part, he changed it a little bit. He added some um some ad libs uh in the background. So like when his verse comes up, you just hear oh. A V, and I was like, "Oh, that uh-huh. was that's not in the original." And you sort of just hear him here and there, um, just saying some, just doing other ad libs and stuff. And I was like, "Huh, that's interesting." Wow. All right. And dirge, right? Yeah. When you get to his verse, you just you sort of hear him in the background, just yelling something. Huh. I didn't. I didn't know that actually. Yeah. Again, dude. Like I. This album, what I'm definitely going to do, because I've just been like casually listening to it, um, you know, just like walking to work and whatnot. I just want to like actually listen to the lyrics this time. Mm-hmm. Um, one of my favorite references, though, is um, like I think Kill, I think Bill men- mentions like Majora's Mask and the Moon. And I'm like, ooh, this is a really good album so far. Okay, Majora's Mask, you have my attention now. No, yeah. Every time it, every time I get to the last track, I'm like, "Is this the last track already?" And I looked up, like, oh, "I'm trying to hit play again." Oh, it's only track four. Yeah, yeah. God. <laughs> After this review, I'm gonna definitely listen to it <laughs> again. Oh yeah, I'm definitely hitting play again. Yep. Oh, oh and man, man I have yeah. big, mm-hmm. huge props to Rav on this album. Uh, just like the the different styles he was giving out on these on his verses on every track. The what he was giving out? Uh, different styles that he was going oh, for. Oh, yeah. Like different inflections on words. And I was like, oh, man, like you're just killing it, bro. I, I like every time, now that I know what Rav looks like, I'm just like, this man has made two albums and he looks like my son. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm and, like, and Lord, Kildo, I'm, Kildo I can. He looks like the dad. Exactly. He looks like his stepdad. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> I can't get over the fact that Rob's actually from London. Mm-hmm. To yeah, but yeah. Um, oh. again, so far I'm I really enjoy this album. I think it's great. Um, I will give it like a. I want to give it like a nine and a half out of ten. Yeah, it's it's really up there. Um, yeah. As much as I like the first track, uh, what's mm-hmm. it called? Uh, now you don't. I like that song. But oh, with Recadam, right? Yeah, with Recadam. I like that song, but I feel like Passion Fruit should have been the first track. Be- I don't know, because like both those tracks do tell you, like, okay, this is how the album is going to be, right? We're going to have this version of the album and then mm-hmm. this upbeat, fun version of the album, you know? Yeah, I get you. No, Now You Don't sounds more like an, in- more like an introduction. Mm-hmm. For the album, and then Passion Fruit is where it starts, and then Lil Empathy is like like the the ending of the album, yeah, like the way it sounds. 
but it, it's yeah, basically no, you're right. this 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 album's like a really tasty like sandwich you could say you have the intro as the first slice now you don't you have like passion fruit when i'm successful i'm by a neo geo love drug you have like all the toppings like no passion fruit when i am successful i'm by a neo geo that's like the tomatoes that's the lettuce <laughs> love drug is like the meat and then you have like the the condiments you know like the ketchup the mustard relish whatever you want like saffron dirge um sleep talking it, mm-hmm. it, actually more it's like a double cheeseburger I mean, you got put it down by mega ran which is more meat Ooh, and then yeah. you have cult fair one and then you have the bottom slice which is a little empathy i just i can't believe i just said this album is like a double cheeseburger and i'm out here exactly i'm um, very glad my roommate's not hearing this because she's vegan so <laughs> Uh, my only it's a personal problem for me for the album but it's track uh-huh. 10 fair one featuring aerospace like i had to listen to it a couple times to figure out where was aerospace in the album and uh-huh. I, like, I get i think my conclusion is he's on the hook i mean i don't know if i'm going deaf or not but i think he's just on the hook for that one i think you might ha- have to ask him that one personally too. I've actually yeah. messaged him on Instagram before, like, "Hey, man, I love your music," and he's actually responded back. I'm like, "Oh, whoa, holy oh, crap!" Oh yeah, me and him were him, me and Arrow were chatting it up the other day about um uh, when I I dropped the video for him. Uh huh. Uh, I used uh I did an FMV for his Thorns track from Hanakawa. Uh, using oh, the, okay. Using the Wackness, a great movie with Josh Peck. Uh huh. And uh, we were just talking about that. He's like, "Dude, I love that movie." I'm like, "Yeah, I know that's a really good movie, bro." I still haven't seen it. We gotta watch it, man. I know. We all have to watch it. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, I, actually, one thing too. I, I, f- I wish they added a little bit more aerospace to this. But at the same time, I'm on here. Yeah, I mean, the one thing is this. At the end of the day, it is it is an album by Kill Bill and Rav. You know. Uh-huh. And then, sure, everybody's here, but they're only featured like on one track each, right? That's true. So watch like, the okay. watch the next big announcement be Mega Rand's going to be part of EXO. <laughs> <laughs> um, as cool as that would be, I think Mega Rand is already in a few, or he represents a few. I remember he was in this one called Writers Guild. Mm-hmm. Um, but plus, he's doing his own thing with random beats right now too. Oh, I see. Yeah, right. I it's still really great to see Mega Ran on here. That that was a a big that surprise. Was a, exactly, same. But yeah, dude. Like I'm, again, this album is even though I described it as a fucking double cheeseburger. Um, it's a good lo-fi hip hop album. That's what I think it is, and they do a great job with it. It's really good, really put together, really put together well. I mean. Yeah, and it's... um, it was funny, too, because I was doing the Facebook memory thing, you know, like on this day. Uh-huh. I think it was last week or something. It was a few days after drop season came out, and I remember Bill saying, mm-hmm. I saw Bill's post saying, like, oh, man, I can't wait to drop a full project this year. And I was like, Ooh. I was like, oh, man, that was two years ago already? Right. Fuck. I wish he made physicals for drop season. That's the one I was, I was assuming was going to be next was drop season. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but I guess they were just, they just been working on this. So, oh, okay, yeah, because I I think it does take a while for to mm-hmm. make physicals. I noticed that aerospace when I think I saw one of his posts on Instagram that um, he actually handmade all the art for like a couple of his CDs, and he's selling hats too, to my surprise. Yeah, um, he they his albums are hand drawn. Um, he was doing those for. Uh, which album was it? When Devil Man dropped, he was drawing like um, like Amon and, and like all the characters on uh-huh. on some white CDs. Um, but those took a long time oh. for, for him to do and to um distribute. Uh-huh. Uh, but he is, yeah, here we are. Uh, the one you're talking about is um for his newest project, Oscillation, that dropped last month. Mm-hmm. Um, he didn't hand draw them himself. It was um, actually his friend Ellen Rose who drew them. Oh, okay, that's uh, cool. Or no, they would be handled by her, but they were designed by 
Dionelli Giardato. I hope I'm I'm probably butchering that. Um, but yeah, those CDs look really fresh. Um, yeah. Oh, speaking about Kill Bill, he just posts on Instagram right now saying, thanks to you guys, we reached number one on Bandcamp. See my mm-hmm. name next to some of my favorite artists is hella surreal. Yeah. Oh, um, what's her name? Uh, Mikazuki, uh, Big Wave. Um, he, he or she is, um, they're a really popular uh, future funk artist. Mm, I'm surprised nice. he, he's there next to him. And Aesop, Ro- Aesop Rock. Oh, yeah, because he posts on Bandcamp, right? Yeah, I came out with uh, Malibu Ken, which I actually might listen to in cop. Mm. I think I think when I was looking, I forgot where I was looking, but I just found mm-hmm. on Bandcamp just a sidetrack of somebody something from X Waves called Vaporwave for China. Yeah, that um, the one with uh, Mao Zedong on the on yeah, the cover. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so I'm gonna listen to that next for sure. But yeah, um, that's my review for um, for New Moon. Yeah, go cop it. Uh, I remember Bill tweeted the other day. He was just like, my music will always be free. I appreciate for the support, but I don't see a reason why you should have to pay for music. So he's just a big wholesome dude for that. Also, if you buy the physical album, if you buy it right now, you also get a copy of the album digitally for free. Yeah, and then uh, you could stream it on the Bandcamp app if you do that. Um, oh yes, that's where I listen to most of my music now. Is just on because I just buy it from all these guys. So, mm-hmm. uh, but oh, yeah, yeah, it's pay what you want, or you know, it's pay what you want, or it's free, or you could buy the CD if there's any copies left. A link will be in the description for that. Yes, uh, highly we- recommend you get one though, because he still has a couple more left. He said. Mm-hmm. And uh, we didn't talk about it, but the album cover is great too. Oh yeah, dude! It's like it's like something you'd. See. There's this Facebook group called Banshee. It's something I would see in that group because they mm-hmm. post like aesthetic anime stuff. Yeah. New wallpaper, maybe. Hmm. I, I was trying to find a bigger image of the the album cover on Google, and it said, "Did you mean Japanese street aesthetic?" And I was like, "Oh, oh, that's a thing." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm going to look that up right now. Japanese streets aesthetic. Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> Dude, you can just like make manga edits of these. That's what it feels like. It feels like this is like from an anime. Yep. You're right. This is something I would listen to if I were to go to Japan again. Yeah. No, if yeah. whatever I'm doing, I'm listening to this like... Yep. I haven't been this hyped since I think drop season for an album. Uh, <laughs> one time, one time, one time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Yep. That is our review for New Moon by Rob, Kill Bill, and literally everyone in X Society. <laughs> yeah. And that was also the, we mentioned it, but the, that's the other big announcement. Announcement. They're called X Society. So hopefully that means mm-hmm. they're going to be pushing harder this year um because honestly i do want a new square project it's been a long time yeah he only has that one album right no he has a few he has um alphabet soup is the big one Mm -hmm. um he actually sold cds for that and i i just missed the opportunity for that um oh damn he has on the way it's an ep yeah five tracks that's pretty good and then um yeah, the existence is existential uh, from Square. Oh, that one is by Square. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it, that's Square and um, featuring uh, no one important. I see. Wow. All right. And those are. I... Yeah, that was like three years ago already. Yeah, I don't even. I don't even have Alphabet Soup. That's something I'm definitely going to check out, though. Oh yeah, Alphabet Soup's really good. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Uh, but yes, thank you for listening, guys. Be on the lookout for uh, next week because on the 25th, uh, Kadesh Flow's dropping an album Ooh. Uh, called Otaku Moods. Uh, so I'm going to be talking about that. I already have it pre ordered. Um, so look out for that review for that music one as well. We're going to try to do more music 
uh, reviews on more here. album reviews. I want to, anyways, because um, I I'm down to do it. Just let um, me know which albums. Oh yeah. Um, did you listen to Macross's album that dropped on Christmas? Oh, um, Nakatomi Tower. Yeah. It's really good. It is super short. It's 17 minutes long, mm -hmm. but it's still pretty chill. Um, I like the artwork. I really like the it's artwork just for that album. Hard. It's that's literally all it. That's what it is. But it's anime Die Hard. I thought it was funny too because I'm like, oh yeah, it dropped on Christmas. Die Hard's a Christmas movie. It's perfect. <laughs> it's like that whole Christmas meme with Die Hard. People are just like, yeah, Die Hard's a Christmas movie, and I'm like, okay, we get it. You vape. <laughs> well, Shelby <laughs> believes that's a Christmas movie as well. Oh my god! And Shelby. Spider Man One is a Thanksgiving movie. Don't forget. Okay, th okay, Spider Man One I can understand, but <laughs> not <laughs> King Nuck, not Die Hard. It's funny because I haven't seen the first two. I've seen Live Free or Die Hard, and then Die Hard with Event. I mean, or the fourth one, I think. The fourth one or the fifth one? Oh uh, man, Bill tweeted two hours ago as of this uh -huh. recording. He was like so close yet so far away. And it's a screenshot of YouTube, and it's uh, Fantano saying, reviewing your music, number two. And he's scrolling through Twitter, and you could see a uh, love drug on there. <laughs> Wait, did Fa Oh, man, Fantano didn't review it? No. Damn. He's uh, oh, well. At least I don't think so. He's just, unless Bill edited this or not. But um, it looks like he's just scrolling through Twitter, and then you just see Bill's um, tweet on there. Yeah, he um he did that with um with Ramona, I believe. Where Anthony Fantano gave it a ten out of ten. No, that yeah, he edited that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um but Fantano yeah. did tweet out the YouTube mm -hmm. link for Beneath the Toxic Jungle a couple years ago. Oh. So that was Oh he did, cool. wow. Yeah. Oh that's dope. Yeah, I was surprised um one of Fantano's um reviews last year, there's this artist I listened to named George Clanton. And he, he was in this band called Mirror Kisses. Um, really aesthetic music um, with some like Vaporwave, Synthwave, um, Shoegaze into it. And he did a review on his newest album called Slide. And that and like after that review, George Clanton got like 10,000 followers like that. Wow. Um, he got a bigger fan base because of Fantano's review. And Fantano gave his album like an 8 out of 10. And one of his songs on the album was like on the top 15 singles for last year that I liked. It beat Sicko Mode. <laughs> it beat Sicko Mode <laughs> by Travis Scott and Drake. And I thought that was funny. Oh my God. Because I think like Sicko Mode got 17th place for like the top 50 singles of the year. And then George, um, one of George Clanton's songs from the album was 16th place. I'm like, Oh my God. <laughs> oh man. But yeah. Um, hopefully we will, uh, we get to do more of these album reviews. Yeah. Maybe. Hopefully more projects drop from EXO, especially. Um, I know it was aerospace is going to have a project this year. So mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to that. And, um, yeah, again, I just, I mainly, I want to see Square drop something new this year too. That'd be nice. Oh, I see. Yeah. Um, oh man. So but overall, a great way to start the year off. Exactly. Uh, music, music wise anyways. Um, mm -hmm. so again, link in description to go listen to it. Um, he, they're uploading it on SoundCloud uh now they're dropping a track here and there uh the past few days mm -hmm. and then eventually it will be on spotify for everybody to stream so yeah we'll yeah. De um definitely put the link in the description for sure yeah so be sure to click on that listen to this album grab it up it's instant cop do it now get an album before they run out physically yes that too that that'd be a nice collection cuz they don't yes. they don't really drop cd's that often so no, it's very, yeah. very rare. Also, I like the description of the album. It's just bedroom rappers, Kill Bill and Rav, Mourn Summertime, which oh, I, think, I think they're uh -huh. talking about... Uh, are they talking about Ramona? 
I believe so. Oh, so the artist, one last yeah. thing I'll add to the artist um, that made the uh, album cover is goes by Ghostly Pixels with an underscore between Ghostly and Pixels. Mm. So I'm going to look that up right now. Yeah. And it comes packaged in a f- full, in a beautiful four panel digipack case. Yeah, so basically what that means is there's the front and the back of mm-hmm. the outside of the CD and then when you open it, mm-hmm. when you open it where the CD sits, there's going to be art right there and then to the left where usually they'll have like like your gaming manual, right? Um, oh, okay. There'll be art right there as well. <laughs> That's cool. The fucking gaming manual. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what they're called. <laughs> Inserts, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what was the artist name again? Uh, ghostly underscore pixels. Oh, pixels. Okay. Let's see. Ghost. Ah, here we are. Yeah. Over on Twitter. There we go. Oh, yeah. This is... um. Oh yeah, I like this. Mm-hmm. I just saw a tweet from today of uh, collages um, this person made. Yeah, I see it. I'm a big fan of that kind of art. Ooh. All right, yeah, definitely give him a follow on Twitter then. Yeah, that link will be in the. All the links are going to be in the description, so be sure to check that out. Oh yeah. And yeah, that's going to wrap us up today. Oh yeah, I've seen this art before. I think. Yeah, this guy's pretty good. So we'll see you on the next podcast. Yeah, so if you want to stay updated, remember Unverse Podcast anywhere on social media. And you can email us at unversepodcast at gmail.com. What did you think of this album? We'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on that. And as always, we will talk to you guys next time and enjoy this track from the album. Away from my feelings, still don't know no better, baby. Late night drug dealing, always one time for my feelings. Lately, nothing makes sense. Except for being with you, let all pay the rent. But baby, love songs do. I'm off my own, chakra bone, chakra boom, baby boom. Fuck around and catch some feelings, let them bloom, shape the room. I don't bruise, live a little bit by the crew. Bumps in the back with the bruises. What the fuck can I lose? Stick shift stuck on cruise control. I'm a lose control. I'm off that. Mostly do right yeah. Old devices were sold on Vice Now I slide through like gold on ice She sold my type and so I showed my lights Got a number and a call last night All my life been controlled by pride But I fall mine twice and the door's quite right When she crossed my sights, so I fold my bright Hey, sitting by the moonlight And I won't let you fall I just want us to fly Let it take control Float above skyscrapers And I don't wanna pump my brakes Cause I would rather see what is buzz my takers Kissing by the moonlight And I will let you fall I just want us to fly Sail above the wall The city's cold and it's mechanical Our souls are incompatible With all the dares and their songs of fear I ran away from my feelings Still don't know, no better, baby. Late night drug dealing, always one time for my feelings. Lately, nothing makes sense. Except for being with you, let all pay the rent. But baby, love songs do. I'm off my own, chakra bone, chakra boom, baby boom. Fuck around and catch some feelings, let them bloom, shape the room. I don't bruise, live a little bit by the crew. Bumps in the back with the bruise, what the fuck can I lose? Stick shift stuck, don't cruise control, I'm a lose control. I'm off that. I'm off that. I'm off that. I'm off that. What's when I cross time bridge? Pump full of drugs of the love time bitch. Yeah.
what you thought this was, what you think it is, what you trying to say, I fuck it, I'ma do it all faith, dust in my chest and a blunt in my face, come from a place where what matters don't matter, what matters is scattered all over the map, I don't see nothing, really it's nothing, but bitch, I'ma dip on my toes in the trap, hoping to sap, trees falling, fiends calling, fuck off of my line, ho, dipping and dodging a five, oh, you making that harder to vibe, ho, let me twist it, dutch you lift me up, don't give a fuck, it's my business, yeah. Say they fuck with me, to fuck with me I flood the streets to find Venice wah, wah, wah. Never gave a fuck about a thing in the world except for you I ain't trying to twist my fingers Less is next to you Lesson in the pressure, fuck it up a lesson in depression Don't get slump in the back, pumping the drug to the trap Hit like a slug to the bag, what the fuck is the bad? What I thought it was, what I think it is What the fuck am I doing here? I ask what the fuck is the point to do in this? Why the fuck did you trust my foolish ass? How the fuck am I supposed to lie to myself anymore? I'm dated Case by case on the basis It's just faces, faces, faces I don't like none of them